Look at the sun, man. It's amazing. Finally, it's getting back into summertime. I love it. Back in nature. Anyway, so you've come here to learn about this principle. There might be another name for it, but I like to call it the river principle because it makes it obvious to connect the image in your head with the real principle. This principle describes the emotions and feelings which you feel during a phase you are trying to improve in. I'm gonna explain to you the three phases step by step so you can follow me and can understand what I mean. Maybe you are still in the first phase and that's okay, but by learning why it may be hard for yourself to improve, you may be able to get around this problem and understand that there's first a harder phase before the improvement comes. This whole principle also goes for habits. So let me draw a scenario. You still go to school or work a 9 to 5 and after class, when you get home, you are constantly on the internet, checking messages, social media, watching videos or playing video games and don't really get any further in life. This would be your daily routine. Maybe on the weekend you go partying and then be hungover on Monday. Or you stay indoors all weekend and just continue the cycle. I like to call this first phase the riverbanks. You're basically situated right next to the river, which goes deeper and is filled with water. Now imagine it's like 5 to 0 degrees, so the water is almost freezing cold and you wouldn't want to go in there by any means. But what if you knew there was a treasure on the other side? This treasure has the potential to change your life, so it might be worth the uncomfortableness to swim through the ice cold water just to get to treasure and improve your life. Then you'd maybe change your mind. The river is when you start to change things in your lives and implement positive changes. Instead of playing video games all day or staying on the internet, you go outside, connect with nature or go to the gym and train. You are way more outdoors and connect with a lot more people. You are improving your mind and body. Now, here's the reason why many people don't like to get wet. The ice cold water holds them back and they don't want to go through this uncomfortable phase to get to the treasure. This uncomfortable phase can last for days, weeks or even months. People also like to call this the plateau, where you don't see any big progress being made. If you feel like you're in this phase right now, do not stop. Even if it takes years, you will succeed in the end. You may fail and fail again, but fail over and over until you succeed. Failure is not something that holds you back, you actually progress from it. Learn from your mistakes and improve upon them. The second phase is called the riverbed. You're deep down into the ice water and struggle to get on the other side. But persist. After weeks of training, it's the first time you notice a change in your body. It may be a feeling or you seeing yourself in the mirror and actually having defined muscles. Or you may notice that you're much calmer. This is the point where it only gets better. You've made it through the hardest phase and to the other side of the river and can now look back from where you started. The progress is now noticeable, visible and not only to you but also to all the people around you. A change in mood, self-confidence and so many other benefits that you've gained from persisting. The third phase is the mountain range. You found the treasure and now you want to find more. You want to find treasure and now you're in search of more and there's definitely a lot more to find. Stay on the path, my friend, and you're sure to succeed. I can only hope to have helped at least one person with this video. Maybe understanding this principle can really make you want to start and give you the kick in the ass you needed. Thank you for listening until now. Subscribe if you want to support me and have a great day.